Hi, my name is Mohamed May. I'm at Norfolk State University, and today I'm going to explain to you the thermal deposition machine. This is the Auto 306 thermal evaporate deposition that we use to deposit different various types of metal into our desired substrate. Here we have the external part, where it's composed of the electrical part and the assembly part. And on the side, we have the chiller, which it's used to cool down the internal pump. Here we have the digital part of the instrument. This is the main switch. This is the rotary for the substrate. And this is the main display that we're going to use to verify different various numbers and pressure level. Here we have the electronic part that is required to use to melt the material onto the substrate. This knob is to control the current flow. This to visually see the amps. This to control which side we're using, if it's the LT or the HT. This knob is to control which of the four stations that we use. Currently, we're going to use station number A. And here we have our thickness monitor sector. Here we have the mechanical part of the thermal deposition. Here we have our station A, which we're going to use to deposit our material, which our material is silver inside this boat. Here we have our measurement thickness device that measures the thickness of the material that we deposit as we deposit it. Here we have our internal shield that we use to shield our material from the substrate. Until we need it to get deposited, then we open it and let it deposit. This is our boat that we're going to use to place our material in it. And then when it heat up, the material will melt, depositing on the substrate of our choice. Now we place our boat with our desired material in this part of the instrument. And as you see, I place it between these two washers. Using an Allen key, size 4 millimeter, we can screw on and secure our boat. During our deposition, the current will flow from this port to this port through the boat and it will heat up the silver, allowing it to deposit onto the substrate and then it will continue the circle going to the other side. Between this port and this piece of metal, we have a ceramic that prevents it from having a shortcut. Here we have our substrate that we're going to deposit the silver on. Our substrate is a glass piece of slide held in by a double side foam tape into the cover slide holder. And we attach the slide holder into this arm by gently placing it inside and rotating it as such. Then we can gently align this arm on top of the substrate with the height that we desire. And then we place the shield until it's ready. This is our bell jar that we use to shield our sample. And what it does, it helps to create the vacuum for our sample during the thermal deposition. Then, then we use this external shield implosion device and place it on top of the bell jar to protect us from an accident that might occur. To operate our thermal deposition instrument, we first turn on our main power switch from zero to one. Then we press the reset button and then the start button. Keep it in mind that we have to turn on the chiller at the same time. Now, what's going on? The internal pump is being warmed up, getting ready for our thermal deposition. This procedure will take about 25 to 30 minutes. And once the pump is ready, the cycle display light will light up. Now, when the instrument is ready, the word sealed will be displayed. And you can see that the LED light on the cycle button is being lighted up. Quick notice, you see here we have the number 1.0 plus 3 MB. This means 1 times 10 to the power of plus 3 millibar. This is the atmospheric pressure of the room, which means that the sample is still in atmospheric pressure. To start, what we do is click cycle, and we observe the roughing pump is being turned on. And then we can observe the vacuum is running. After a certain pressure, the roughing pump will turn off and the fine pump will turn on, allowing to have a better vacuum inside the chamber. We let the vacuum run until we approach 5 
times 10 to negative 6 millibar. At this vacuum, we can have an excellent deposition material onto our substrate. To deposit our material into our substrate, we turn this knob into LT and turn this knob slowly. As you can see, the amp is changing. For our silver, we point it to approximately 3.4 amps to 3.7 amps. As we continue to roll the knob and the amp increase, we can observe the change into the boat. And the boat will slowly get hot until we get to the desired melting temperature. When our material is melted, we can move the shield aside and allow the material to deposit into our substrate. We wait until we get our dissolved thickness on the substrate, then we can gently close the shield. Now we turn the current knob all the way back to zero, and we turn the station knob from LT to zero again. Now we press vent, and we can observe the pressure rapidly increasing from vacuum to room atmosphere pressure. Now we can remove our external implosion shield. For our bell jar, we have to gently remove it, making sure it's back to atmospheric pressure. And now we can remove our substrate, and we can observe the metal has been deposited on our glass slide. Now we can see our clean slide before deposition, and our deposited slide with the silver on top of it. This is how our boat with the material inside after the material have been melted. To turn off the instrument, First we press stop and observe that the fusion pump has been turned off. Then we turn off the main power supply.